How would going? you um, assess the kicking situation uh, right now between Joseph and um, Sanders? Uh, you know, a work in progress, you know, as always. I mean, you get, you know, you're in these early part of camp still. we got a long way to go, you know, over a month to go. Uh, so, it's, you know, especially with two rookies, it's not like you have a rookie and a, and a veteran guy with two rookies. It's a process. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I think they're both progressing. You know, we're obviously working on some things. I think you've seen, if you've been out here every day, you've seen those guys flash and uh, show their ability. Uh, you know, so it's just like I said, like work in progress, and you know, I think they're they're both both progressing pretty well. When you say work in progress, I mean, yeah. mean they they've got a lot of work to do. No. Okay. Nope. No, not at all. Uh, I think with any rookie at any position, uh, whether it's quarterback, O line, kicker, you know, defensive back, it doesn't matter. All those guys are a work in progress. You know, there's not one guy in here that comes in ready made to play in the NFL. That that kicker is included, and uh, you know, it's a different game, obviously, and and I think those guys uh, have both. Um, you know, their progression since the spring, I think, has been pretty good. And, uh, you know, you see some days are better than others, as, as you know, as kickers, rookie kickers are going to do. But, you know, I really like where they are. Um, you know, obviously, we have four preseason games to play. We've got a lot of camp to go. So, again, that, that, that's not what I meant by that. I just I think that I'm happy with, with where they both are right now. Again, you guys have been out here every day. You've seen the ability of those guys. You've seen them uh, can both make kicks. Now we just got to do it on a consistent basis and bring it to the games, you know. Have you narrowed it down at punt returner at all? Down to a couple. Well, that's guys a, that, that yeah. That's always a that's always a, a pool that we're trying to expand. Really, I'm, I'm never ne never trying to narrow that pool down. It's a guy, guys who we're always trying to look at a bunch of guys there. I mean, obviously we have Jakeem and Danny Amendola who both have a lot of experience in games. Uh, and then after them, you got some guys like Albert Wilson that's done it. You got some guys like Drew Morgan, and we're trying to break in a couple of new guys. You know, Drake's a guy that we've worked there. So try, really, the, we're trying to expand it, not narrow it down. Try, you never can have enough guys, in my opinion, that can do that job. Oh, is, Danny, is Danny a guy that you'd feel really good about in those like kind of tighter situations where there's I feel a good little about, more crowded? Yeah, I feel good about Danny in all situations. He's got a lot of experience. You know, obviously, not only uh, coaching against him, but just watching him out here. He's always a guy I've respected before he got here, and I probably got more respect for him now that he's here. Just watching his work, work ethic, his football IQ is really high. Uh, you know, makes really good decisions back there, and, and that's that's kind of what he showed when we played against him, and so it's not a surprise. So I'm comfortable with him in any, any part of the field. Oh, could you do yeah. like in the past, you've done situational, um, put people in certain situations. Could you possibly do that again? Oh, yeah, it's always on the table, you know, no doubt. I mean, obviously, Jakeem. Uh, you know, has, has also been a guy that's, you know, year by year by year gotten better and better and better. And so I'm, I'm much more comfortable with him than we were two years ago uh, in a situational. But again, that's all going to be determined by roster, game day. But that's always on the table. And we're going to try to get as many guys work as we can. I mean, Danny Amendola is a guy that doesn't need to take a whole lot of preseason punt return reps. I kinda, we kind of know where he's at. Uh, but everybody else that's out there, we're going to try to get as many reps as we can. But that's always on the table for sure, the situational thing, you know. Have you had like a new eye-catching guy on special teams? I mean, we know what Walt does, but is there a guy you would tell us, keep an eye, you're going to really notice this guy on special teams? I mean, all, all the guys that have been here kind of have a pretty good idea what what they're bringing to the table. I'm obviously trying to evaluate all the new players, you know, not only the rookies, but the guys that haven't been here. Uh, you know, just learning our system, you know, doing what we do. But, you know, a couple of the rookies have flashed, you know. Um, and, again, they can flash out here, but once we get into those preseason games, you know, for the rookies more than anybody, you know, on special teams, those preseason games are really big. And we're going to really evaluate that stuff and, and see who can bring it to the table. You, know, you guys see we're out here every day doing some live work. And so, you know, I know like a guy like Baker flashed today, Balazs has flashed, and a bunch of those guys have looked good at times. Now it's a matter of bringing it, you know. So we try to put those guys up in some matchups and practice against some of our better players. Uh, you know, some of the guys that have been here, Walt, Bobby, Mike Hull, you know, some of the veterans, Snorris Perry, some of the guys that have been around. And, and those guys so far have held their own. But now let's, let's see it on. Let's see it next Thursday. You know, let's see it a week from today. So, Chris, I apologize if you've already no, been no asked this, but yeah. what percentage or how, how much of the field goal competition come, comes into what goes on out here when you guys are kicking uh, field goals? Well, I mean, well, certainly every rep's important, but you know, there's also there's also things we're working on. Um, you know, with, the diff with both kickers, very small things that we're kind of trying to work on. They also have different operations at times. Sometimes it's John Denny snapping. Sometimes it's Lucas Gravel snapping. Sometimes the operation falls into it. So every miss is not necessarily the kicker's fault at times. Um, you know, so again, am I living and dying by every kick out here? No, I'm looking for progress, as we were talking about before. I'm looking for those guys getting out here and getting better every day. I like where both of them are. I want to see them translate what they've done in practice, show the leg, show the consistency, show the ability. I want to see them translate that onto game day and onto the field, you know, in, in live action in the stadium. But, you know, I'm really, really like where both guys are. I've said this before to you guys. I really like their approach. 
They both have really good demeanor. Uh, their work ethic's really good. I think you've seen the ability. So I'm really happy with both guys. And it, it's a little bit odd to have two rookies. A lot of times you have a rookie, maybe a veteran. So this is a little bit of a unique situation to have two rookies here in camp. But, but both guys have really impressed me so far with some things. And you know, they haven't been perfect, as you guys know. But uh, I think that right now they're doing very well. And I kind of like where they are.